Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. <sighs> it's still pretty early. I don't really feel like talking because it's morning. But today we're gonna do a what I eat in a day. I know a lot of you guys really love this type of video so I'm bringing it back. <laughs> if we haven't met yet, my name is Mandy Meehan and I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and I'm recovering from chronic illness. So that's really a lot of what this channel is all about talk about all kinds of things, but health and wellness and nutrition is a big part of it. Oh man. So I'm currently drinking some water. I added some electrolytes to it. I definitely feel better if I add some electrolyte powder or even just a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Sometimes I'll do apple cider vinegar or sometimes I'll add lemon or even lime, but I do always hydrate first thing in the morning. So for breakfast, I'm actually sensitive to a lot of breakfast foods. I haven't been doing well with eggs for a while now. And I also follow more of a paleo template. I am pretty much completely grain free or at least grain free like 99% of the time. That's been really helpful for me and my healing. Really quick, just a preface for a what I eat in a day. Really, this is just to give you food inspiration more than anything. Just because I eat something doesn't mean you should eat something. Just because I don't eat something doesn't mean that you should eat something. Every single person has bio-individual needs. And that's what I do as a nutritional therapy practitioner. I help you find what you need for your unique body, your unique situation, and all those good things. So with that said, since I don't do well with a lot of typical breakfast foods, most of my breakfasts are just normal other parts of the day foods. I'm actually gonna do a taco bowl for breakfast. I'm really into taco bowls right now. So I already have some ground beef prepped and cooked up. It's grass-fed ground beef with lots of different taco spices, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, uh, stuff like that, salt, pepper, oregano, I added a good amount of oregano. I never put coconut oil in the fridge, I have no idea why this is in here. Then I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this Koyo coconut yo yogurt, it's completely unsweetened, it's basically just like fermented coconut turned into a yogurt. Super good, since it's unsweetened, it actually is amazing as like a sour cream alternative. And I've never actually been a sour cream person, but I've really liked putting just a little bit of this in my taco bowls. And then I'm also gonna add some of this Siete Cashew Queso. This stuff is amazing. It's dairy free, hence the cashews. So really simple ingredients. Water, cashews, tomatoes, nutritional yeast. I still need to figure out if that's fortified or not because technically I should not be doing fortified nutritional yeast and I don't think a lot of people should because they use synthetic folic acid. I think some other synthetic ingredients as well. I think they may use synthetic B12 actually. Uh, onion, green bell peppers, distilled white vinegar, jalapenos, jalapenos, sea salt, flaxseed, fermented extract, which is oregano flaxseed plum, coconut milk powder, lactic acid, onion powder, garlic powder. So really simple ingredients. I'm grateful because I was nut free for a while. I was nightshade free for a while. So I'm, I'm really glad that I've been doing well with this. The only thing I don't have is a vegetable. So I'm just going to pan fry saute. I'm just gonna saute some like squash right now, zucchini and yellow squash. I'm just gonna chop up yellow squash and zucchini and cook it up and probably some grass-fed butter. Yes, and then I'll just heat all this other stuff up. Okay, so while the zucchini and the yellow squash is cooking, I wanted to tell you about kind of what I think through when I cook my first meal, my breakfast in the morning. So what I found for me and for so many people, and also <laughs> the science supports it too, is that for people who eat breakfast or really just your first meal of the day, whatever time that is, it's really helpful if you focus on more protein and fat in your meal and, and keep the carbohydrates to a minimum. And a healthy person, their cortisol is gonna be highest in the morning that boosts up cortisol, that stress hormone that's gonna get you up and awake and ready for the day. That's how things are meant to be. Because your cortisol is higher in the morning, you are naturally gonna be more insulin resistant in the morning and insulin sensitive later in the day and at night. So you wanna be insulin sensitive, not insulin resistant. Insulin resistance 
when your cells aren't quite responding well to the signal of insulin, which insulin is the hormone that gets glucose, like blood sugar, into the cell. So because of that, a lot of people do a lot better with more of a focus around fat and protein at breakfast and minimizing the carbohydrates. I used to do oatmeal for breakfast every single day a few years ago, and I loved it. It was delicious, but about an hour or two later, I would feel like literal death because my blood sugar would just shoot up super happy and then crash right down just because of the heavy amount of carbohydrates. I would add fat and protein and it would not help for me and I just had a major blood sugar crash and be super shaky and hungry and I thought that was normal but it is definitely not. And here's the finished product. So base of lots of veggies, heated up that grass fed beef, then yeah just added some of that dairy free queso and then right there that's that coconut yogurt. So then I'll just mix it all together and probably also gonna add some of these Siete grain tree chips just for a little crunch. And really quick, this is how it all looks all mixed together. <laughs> Highly recommend this meal. I do different variations of this all the time and it's one of my new favorite, just easy go-to meals. Hello again. It's been a pretty chill day. I just recently got out of the sauna, took a shower, hence the wet hair, and I'm gonna make a really quick lunch. It'll be really simple, uh, mostly because I have chicken prepped again. I'm a big fan of batch cooking where you just cook more than you need and then being able to cook once and eat multiple times. I do wanna make some veggies, so I just have this really simple California blend, just cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. Okay, so I wanna show you how I cook frozen veggies. It really depends on the type of frozen veggie, but I feel like, I mean, I just really like the way that I do it and it's just, in my opinion, a lot better than just like the instructions on the back of it. So usually I'll just stick it in from frozen and then um, I didn't add any oil or anything yet because really as the frozenness kind of melt the water from that is kind of enough to keep things from sticking by the time that it's a lot less frozen then I might add in some coconut oil or avocado oil or olive oil or butter or whatever that's just something I think is helpful doing with that oil first and adding your fat afterwards and then of course you can add a lid to make it cook a little bit quicker also you can kind of flash steam it I have this little cup I usually use to pour water if you just pour in a little bit of water and then cover it it's a good way to just get it a quick little steam oftentimes I'll do that towards the end just to get things to that perfect that perfect place where it's soft enough but not too soft that it's just like mush and then I'll probably just season with salt pepper and coconut aminos and yes got these delicious bone and skin on chicken thighs that I roasted in my air fryer yesterday so not technically roasted it is just kind of like baking it and it just cooks in a way where it crisps up really nicely I just use some lemon pepper spices which is really good so I'm quite hungry after the sauna so I'm gonna have some of this on the side it's completely paleo friendly dairy free organic and I'll just put some like organic blueberries and raspberries in that and I won't do this whole thing I really just need a little bit okay so here's the lunch very simple you know I think I forgot to put salt or pepper on this but they still look good I did add coconut aminos for flavor coconut aminos is a good alternative for soy sauce and it has a lot of good amino acids in it and then on the side I have this yogurt concoction with cacao nibs on top just for some crunch hello been a nice afternoon I actually went and taught a point class I was gonna get some clips while I was there but totally forgot to do that I think I'm gonna make some sweet potatoes to have with dinner I, I make these sweet potato little circles with cinnamon and coconut oil and I really like them cold so I'm gonna make them early so I can chill them for a little bit I imagine that whatever we have for dinner will be really simple ignore the dirty dishes another one and this one looks kind of weird to me so I don't know if this is bad or not it's just it's a little too flimsy for me hopefully these turn out good uh, I'm just going to just kind of mix in this coconut oil I'm just gonna add cinnamon all over 
add some pink salt. It'll go in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes at 425, then I'll flip it over and cook it for about 15 more minutes after that. My husband's actually on his way home and it's only five o'clock, so we're probably going to wait to eat, but I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up some cabbage. I love cabbage, it's very versatile, very delicious. I really love to cook it in grass-fed butter. I love butter, there's so many amazing benefits. Very great source of fat soluble vitamins and butyrate, which is very important for healthy gut flora. Also for people who are freaked out by butter, there are actually a lot of studies of butyric acid and butter helping people lose specifically belly fat. I don't talk a lot about weight loss on here, but sometimes I like to tell people that one just because People have a hard time getting on the butter train and the butter train is the place to be. <laughs> Okay, I've got the sweet potato in the oven, got the cabbage just chopped and ready to go. And right now, I think I'm just going to get some, get some essential oils in the diffuser, and then I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook. In the diffuser, I'm gonna do about five drops of lavender and tea tree and two or three drops of lemon, just for a very fresh and clean scent. So I thought about doing like a fancy stir fry or something for dinner and this is just way easier and I'm just ready to get dinner done and to just rest. These are grass-fed beef Polish kielbasa sausages. You probably have seen me talk about them before because we always keep these on hand just for easy meals. Yeah, other than grass-fed beef, it's just water, uh, less than 2% of sea salt vinegar, spices including paprika, celery powder, garlic powder, and cherry powder. Is that green connection? Have you ever had butterflies in your stomach or experienced an episode of diarrhea from extreme performance anxiety? This is your second brain talking to you. There is a major connection between your gut and your brain. Husband's home. He's got the same thing, except uh, lots of rice under there for rice? extra cows, extra K cows. And unless I eat later, this is what I eat in a day. I'll probably eat a snack later. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's not always true. It's mostly true. We'll see. Yeah. 